Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I do appreciate it guys. Today's beer, I'm going to have to read off the can because I can't find a damn thing about it on, on the internet. Android Theory presents the death of civilization in slow motion. I. Dot. Hazy Imperial IPA coming in as 8.5%. Android Theory Brewing, Percival, Virginia. Drink cold, drink Keep cold, drink fresh. Contains lactose. Ghost. Crow Fishers. Then it has the food of Acapulco Grill Grouper. Like where in the hell you gonna get that unless you're in Acapulco. Crack smoking monkey. Grilled pineapple chutney. Cheese Fontina Valdiast. <laughs> Cigar Ashton Estate Sun Grown. <clears throat> that may be able to be found, but in the music scars of man and the name of wilderness stuff. I think somebody, whoever's naming the beers, the Andor Threes, has got a serious issue, guys. Uh, I mean they they keep going over and over. They've done a shitload of this the death of civilization in slow motion. One, two, three, four, five. And different ghosts, this ghost, that ghost, this different ABV, 8.3, 8.5. There's a serious problem going on there. I mean, it's so confusing, Untapped can't even figure it out. They can't. I'll type this in, and the closest they can get to it, it says Crowfisher's Edition, which this one is, but it says Ghost, not this, and this says Ghost 621 at 8.3%. I can't find it, guys. I ain't going to jump through hoops. I spent 10 minutes trying to find it, so it's never been heard of before. They're confusing as hell. Woo! Take another toke. Okay, here we go. This beer costs $7.29. Alrighty then. I'm not even going to read the notes because I don't think it's accurate for what I've got here. So all we can do, and it says here canned on 02124, February 1st, Crow Fisher on the bottom. I've read you everything there is off of the can. This is an eight and a half percent, guys. So welcome to the world of the death of civilization and a hundred different slow motion variations. Amazing. Amazing. Can you confuse us any freaking more? Unbelievable. Alrighty then. Finger and a half. Looks good, guys. I mean, it's a good looking beer. And these, <laughs> as confusing as they are, they seem to be making good beers. So, uh, there is some particulates floating around in here. So, I mean, we're getting a lot of unfiltered and a lot of those hazy New England style-esque beers are unfiltered beers, guys. I mean, they are. So you're going to get a lot of that floaties uh, action going on in sediment. And some of them are light colored floating around and some of them are darker colored and they settle to the bottom. And uh, they're, they're all different, but it's all tasty. I mean, this is all stuff that you do not want to throw away. So make sure it's all wrapped up and swirled into what you're drinking. I mean it's even settling on the side of the glass here on on the bowl here on the side. So this is probably going to get pretty chunky on the bottom by the time we get to the final chug. So looks good. I kind of like that. I didn't used to. I used to despise that. I mean I, I have actually poured beer out over that before. So I have learned with age and comes the 
within the wisdom hopefully comes along with that. Sometimes it doesn't. So, Looks good, guys. What do you think? I'm rambling on. Get the nose. Hmm. Crow Fishers. And that's got to be their batch numbers, of course. Contains lactose, so... I'll just throw it out, this 8.3 they're saying it is, which I don't think it is, because it says it's no longer being produced, so this is an older variation. I have no idea, guys, why it's not listed. It's got the same picture of this little robot-looking dude on the front of it, but I don't know. It's probably the wrong ghost. Too many Caspers in this damn room. I can, I'm not giving a whole lot. We got wound up trying to find out something about the damn beer. Let's jump in. Cheers. Citrusy. It's kind of smooth. I'm getting a little bit of melon, a little bit of orange. I'm not giving any pine or grapefruit. I'm not impressed. I am not impressed with this one. This would be the first one that I've got, that I've bought, that is not impressed me on the first couple of sips and for what it cost seven dollars and twenty nine cents unless it changes my mind this was a bad buy I'm so sorry Android Android all right it's in the glass guys and but again they all can't be tense I mean you know they all can't be tense you're gonna you're gonna get one that's not gonna Blow your hair back or your socks off occasionally. It doesn't mean, you know, oh my no, god, the world's coming to an end, the sky's fall. And eh, this one didn't quite suit my palate. And then the next guy might say, oh my god, what's wrong with you? That's the best thing I ever tasted. So, I mean, it just did not, it didn't, it didn't work for me so far. So, it's all in there. We want to see what it looks like and tastes like by the time it comes up to room temperature. And, I've sipped on a little bit and calmed down from the whirlwind of trying to find out something about this damn beer. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. I actually, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm going to try to bring it over where y'all can see that. Super heavy cake on the bottom. I mean. You can see it. Super heavy. Super heavy cake on the bottom of that one. Uh, not so impressed with this one, guys. Uh, like I said, trying to jump through hoops, trying to figure out which one it was with all these different ghosts and the same name with different Roman numerals behind them. I mean, it's, it's silly. They don't have to do that. I mean, and I stopped. I mean, they got to the point where I'm done. I'm not going to jump through here trying to figure out which damn beer y'all freaking talking about. 8.5% Ghost Crow Fishers. Crow Fishers. What the hell ever that means. Crow Fisher. Crack smoking monkey. That's what that means. Final chug. We're going to swirl it up as best we can, guys. I mean, that is so thick on the bottom. That's the heaviest, one of the heaviest I've seen. That's uh, about as mixed up as I can get it. Chunky monkey. Crack smoking chunky monkey. <laughs>
<clears throat> there it goes. Yeah, guys. Uh, I mean, it could it could be a ten in somebody's book, not mine, not mine, guys. Uh, not super impressed. I'm gonna give it an 88. That's where I'm gonna drop it. Uh, decent. Probably would not pick this up again. Uh, was uh, disappointed with this one. Not not my cup of tea on um, this one. Not listed on Beer Advocate that I could find. I couldn't find the right one on Untapped. So I'm on my own. B plus on this one. If you've had a guy, let me know. If you can find out which one it was listed somewhere that was accurate. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.